Greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a variant of a format string vulnerability exploit using what's called direct parameter access. Direct parameter access is a functionality in printf that allows me to reference the parameters passed into printf directly in my actual printf format string. Now, as you may recall from my previous demo, if you reference excess parameters that you don't actually provide, printf will instead reference the stack. So essentially, we're going to turn direct parameter access into direct stack access. So let's see how that works. I'm going to be using the same source code I used in the previous demo, which is located in a link in the video description. So what I'm going to attempt to do in this exploit is to read and write to my string here called egg. Okay, so let's go into our terminal and let us fire this up in GDB. And let's look at main. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint at my printf which is at main plus 80. The second thing I need is the address of the string that I'm going to attempt to read and write, which is at ebp minus 0xc. Now, because I, am need, I need to reference this as an offset from the stack, so in order to do that, I need to know that basically the difference between this and ESP, which is the top of the stack. So to get that first, I need to run this. So I'm going to run this for right now with just literally percent %x dollar $y, um, you have to single quote here, not double quote, because if you double quote, it will treat this as command characters. And I'm just this is a garbage string for now, just so that I can get the addresses. Okay, so I'm, I've run my printf. So now what I need to do is x esp to get that address. It's f2co, and then ebp minus zero xc, which is at f35c. So I need to get the difference between these in d words. So to do that. I'm going to go to Applications, Usual Applications, Accessories, Accessories, and damn it, Accessories, and then Calculator. Okay. Now I need to go to Programming Mode here, and then Hexadecimal. So then I can do F35C minus F2CO, and I get the value 9C hex. I need this in decimal, so I just go here, I get 156. Now this is the difference in bytes, but I need D words. So I'm going to divide by 4. I get 39. So essentially, I need to access the 39th parameter of printf, or the 39th D word on the stack. OK. So I'm going to rerun this now. I'm going to change this to percent %39. And for now, I'm going to change this to $x. Yes, I want to run from the beginning. Continue execution. And you see I get 43, 42, 41, or CBA or ABC in a little, little ending. So essentially, I've succeeded. I have read from the stack as I want. But I have this in hex. But what I really want is to read this as a string. However, it's not quite that simple. If I change this to $s as my format specifier, and I run this, I'm going to crash. And the reason I'm going to crash is that the %s format specifier, or $s in this case, will treat what it's passed as an address, as a reference to, an, as a character pointer, right? So it's going to try to dereference. 43, 42, 41 as an address, and that's going to fail. So how can I read this as characters? Well, I can do $c, and that will give me a, but that will not allow me to traverse it arbitrarily. I can do something like percent %40 $c, but that's also not going to work because it's going to read the next D word, not the next character. So what I want to do is I want to treat the thing that I'm passing into printf as an address rather than as a literal sequence of characters. And the way to do this is by falling back to our trusty Python. So I'm going to run this differently here using Python. Now the first thing I need is the address that I want to read and write to and from. And that is bfff f35c. And of course I need to put this in a little endian. So 5c f3 ff bf. I then need my actual format string, which is, and, and so now I'm going to put this address on the stack, but I don't know exactly where it's going to be. So that's the next step, is to figure out where that's going to be. So for now, I'm just going to do percent %1 and then $s. Okay, let's close that. All right, now I'm going to run this again. And so now what I need to do is I need to see where my address ended up on the stack. So to do that, I'm just going to read from the stack like this. And I see that here is my address, bffff35c. So here is where ESP is. This is where the first parameter is going to be. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I need to access the seventh parameter on the stack. 
So I'm going to go back to my execution here. I'm going to change percent one to percent seven, and now I'm going to run this. Yes, continue, and boom, there we go. ABC. So now this works exactly as I intend. I can read from essentially an arbitrary address as a string. Now I can write using this method as well by changing this to $n. So let's take a look at my address here, right? So 43, 42, 41 as I expect. Now I'll execute the next instruction, which is the printf, and do this again. And now I have the value 4, which again is the number of characters the printf has printed so far. So there you go, a variant method of exploiting chromat string vulnerabilities using direct parameter access. Thanks for watching.